More than 100 men, women and children in Newport News still don't have a place to call home. Since July 1st, the city has spent roughly $15,000 a day to temporarily house some of the families from the Sea Loft Apartments in Newport News. City leaders condemned the building after a safety inspection found problems with the elevators. A legal expert shares with Alex Littlehales why those residents have their own legal power. As a mediator and arbitrator, David McDonald knows about resident and landlord relationships. But now and then, do receive a, a call for a, a landlord tenant case. In Newport News City attorneys ordered the owner of the Seaview Lofts apartment complex to court last week, citing code issues with the building's elevators, boilers, and more. McDonald says these tenants aren't powerless. He points to one section of the Virginia State Code that gives tenants rights against landlords. According to the code, landlords must make sure electrical appliances, like elevators, are safe and maintained. It also provides for attorney's fees in certain circumstances. He says mediation, an alternative to settling a dispute without going through the court system, might help some residents. When the tenant said, you know, what am I going to do now? I don't know if I should rent a house. I'll never go back in an apartment. McDonald is speaking of 73-year-old Vernette Scarborough. He says because she doesn't know her next living arrangement, she's a perfect example how residents might be able to settle things legally once they know what's next. You know, so in her case, you know, maybe you know part of the solution was to pay for moving costs, you know, to pay to reimburse for rents that they had. Um, so there are things that are retroactive. A judge scheduled the next hearing between city attorneys and the Seaview Lofts apartment building owner for this Thursday. In Norfolk, I'm Alex Little-Hales for 13 News Now. Hotel stays for these displaced families have been extended until this Thursday, July 14th.